Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Nono Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2 tutorials and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to export your project and uh, export it straight to your desktop actually and you may be wondering why this already I haven't even taught you how to use editing or any of the options but I think it's important to know straight up right off the bat how to export your project just in case if you simply wanted to import it to a Final Cut and then just export it again. So let's go ahead and uh, previous tutorials we actually created our library the other we're going to go ahead and expand that and within the library we created our event which was tutorial and then our project Final Cut Pro 10.2 tutorial go ahead and launch it and then we dragged and imported this clip here which is I believe uh, let's see here it's in total around 2 minutes and 30 seconds long which says right here at the bottom here and uh, I'm only gonna make it just a tiny bit so I'm gonna use the standard if you watch my movie tutorials the standard cut option if you hit command B you can actually just cut it off I'm gonna delete this section by hitting the delete button and now we only have a <laughs> nine second clip here so what we're gonna do you've edited it you're ready to export I'm gonna go ahead and go to the far right hand side here where it says uh, show shared destinations click on this and you're gonna have several options and you can also add a destination but for example just the standard we're gonna use it the default which is the master file and you can even export to a DVD which is quite amazing go ahead and hit master file and uh, we're gonna just look at the options here the title you can go ahead and click on it and change the title we're gonna name this Final Cut Pro 10.2 tutorial example and uh, you can add tags by simply clicking to the right of it I'm gonna call it exam sample and then creator row um, I'm gonna put my name and then also we have this video is about Final Cut Pro just a brief description at the bottom here you see some of the basic statistics regarding the video it's the the quality 60 frames per second what kind of audio um, how long it is a quick time movie it gives you the compatibility Mac means it will most likely be compatible with everything it's es estimated size right here at the bottom 375 megabytes which is quite small and then also you can scroll through it and make sure everything's here as you please you can also go up to the settings tab and then adjust the quality or actually yeah and you can only you can also export as video only or audio only and then also you can change the default player if you would like but I'm just gonna keep everything standard I'm gonna go back to info tab and we're gonna go ahead and hit next to export and we want to save it to my desktop so I'm gonna go ahead and select desktop and uh, just keep the title as is hit save now my capture device actually just crashed while I was exporting this for some reason but uh, it will go to the center section here in the progress bar you'll be able to see how it's sharing you can expand it and it will say that it's transcoding and how much, how much percent it's done and uh, just in case you missed how I brought this up at the middle section here it says 100% if you click on that it will bring up the little background tasks this window for you but it says that it's exported here I can close that window and it already opened it for me but I closed it so you can open it up and you can see that it's a 9 second video while well, it just runs it out to 10 that seconds and there we have it there you have it the actual file from here you can import it anywhere you'd like or upload it but that's basically it thank you guys for watching catch you guys next tutorial and later so let my life be the proof